Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. So last time we were here down by Clark Field, um, and we were going to try and find the drug den hideout for Tony Idaho, who's one of our, what is he called, bounties, yes, bounties, that's right. Um, now his hideout is supposed to be around here somewhere, I feel like I'm going in the wrong direction. Yes, it's just around this rock actually. And I do remember being here quite a while ago. Um, but the door was locked, so I guess that's what that was for. So it should just be a little bit more... Was was I right next to it and completely missed it? I guess that's, that's so, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe I should turn on my HUD because I am losing it. Now we did take some damage here, so... Oh, there it is. Aha! Alright, um, I'm going to use my shotgun here because this is probably going to be some close quarters combat here. What in the name of fuck are you doing in here? Uh... Tch -tch -tch. I'm actually here to see Mr. Idaho. Well, well if you say so. Alright. Rowdy Dalton. He's got some... Let's just take his rounds. <laughs> Um, I wonder if we can go in his ammunition box. It looks like it. Yes. Alright, so far so good. Um, gotta be careful about him though. I wonder if I should just kill him right now. Hmm. Do I have any silent weapons? I don't think I do. So we're gonna not do that right now. We're just gonna go see Tony Idaho then. And, uh, well, we did our check speech past this guy, so... I'm sure we can... You are Tony Idaho. Alright. Do we want to talk to him first? Sure. Morning. Hello. What are you doing here? How the fuck did you get past Rowdy? He said I could come through, and I'm here to collect your bounty. How bad are you, cockroach? Is that so? Well, I've got a shotgun right at your head, sir. <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling that uh, Rowdy probably heard that, but that's all good. We are doing fine. My little friend. <laughs> that is probably a reference to... Oh, that thing is broken. Okay. Thank you for your purchase, Tony's finger. That's probably a reference to Tony Montana. Well, I mean, that's... That's Tony Idaho. So, yes, it is a reference to Scarface. Ugh. Nuka-Colas. I don't know if we should really take those anyways. Because they're not that great. Let's take a look around his hideout. There's probably some interesting things here for us. Yeah, let's take all that stuff. Pack of cigarettes. We don't smoke, so we're good to go. Nice little setup he's got here. Nothing in the desk. All right. I have a feeling that Rowdy is going to want to shoot us here, but uh, maybe not. Let's just look around the rest of the place. Why is... Oh, that's a slip. Okay. A slave who's probably been doing some sort of chemical work for him. Cooking all sorts of junk. And that's right, we also need to increase our drug crates. Jeez. Oh, that's a lot of drugs. That's a ton of drugs. Jesus. Okay. That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, oh, pork and beans. We need that. Where is it? There it is. Um, just because we're running out of food, so I need to make sure we're stocked up on the right amount of food here. Uh, drug crates. Jeez, so much drugs. Luckily, they don't seem to weigh that much. Combat knife, ash three, another slave. Yeah, I didn't think they would have anything on them. But they do have that surgical mask, uh, which is actually at full. What's going on on here? Oh, let's just take those. Those are ours now. It doesn't matter if we lose... We lose all sorts of, uh... <sighs> oh, no, we don't want those empty inhalers. Ah, no worries. Scorpion glands, Khazragor glands, that's huge. Night Stalker blood. All sorts of things. Alright. Ah, we'll leave that stuff for now. What's more important is the chems. They're quite expensive. Um... That's probably why he was doing this, just a traffic 
tracks fix some drugs, sell them, make quite a lot of money. Uh, let's take those nine millimeters here. Nine millimeter rounds, anything of interest up here? Insta mash, pork and beans. Just because we're running out of food, um, I forgot to take food out of our uh, out of our house, our penthouse thing. And so now we're running around the wasteland with uh, no food. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna want to shoot us. Hey, buddy. Oh wow, he actually hurt me quite a bit. Well, let's um, let's use our healing powder if we have any. Oh yeah, we definitely have quite a few of them. There we go. All right, Rowdy, what's going on there? Combat armor? Sure, why not? That's actually not bad. Hunting shotgun and a police baton. Let's fix up our um, our armors and stuff here. Oh, it's all good. We've got ourselves quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of things here. I'm just gonna wait to heal up a bit because um, we took quite a bit of damage here. There we go. So that healing powder is worn off. I was waiting for that so that I could pop my other healing powder, and we can go back out into the wastelands. Um, what are we doing next here? Let me think. There's one more thing we can do because uh, I know we had to convince convince our friends here. Let's see. Yep. And. No, we already did that. There, this is what I was interested in, is Pope Oppa. Ah, oh, that's right, but they're like super far away. What? The other one's in Good Springs, eh? Hmm. Do we have to do that yet? Hmm. No, let's not. You know what? Because we're close, let's go to Novak and start the inheritance quest. Which is um, a downloaded uh, downloaded mod that I got. Can I turn this off? No, it's because we're healing, aren't we? Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a quest mod that I downloaded. Apparently, it's pretty decent. I believe. No, I might be wrong. I thought it was by from the same um, the same people who made the bounty hunter quests. Um, but we will figure out what's going on there. Apparently, you need to be around level 20 to do it. That's the recommended level, and we are definitely above that now. We're about 24 very soon here. We just we just leveled up to 23 the other day. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves, I think. There we go. And that's funny. Yeah, I never noticed that the, uh, the dinosaur had a thermometer. It's pretty cool. Apparently, that is a real dinosaur somewhere in... Nevada. I don't know. I've never been to Nevada. I've been to California a few times, but never to Nevada. Not one for deserts. I don't. I don't really like the heat all that much. I mean, I don't mind it. Um, it's sometimes more preferable than the blazing cold. So it's the hotel room at the bottom here, because the hotel room at the top is ours. So it's apparently this one right here. Yes. Alrighty, let's go in, see if there's the guy. Talk to him. You? Are you there? Are you here for the delivery job? Uh, come closer, please. Absolutely, I will. But first, let me turn on some lights so that we can see who we're talking to. And our flashlight's not working again. Ah, all good. Yes, I recognize you. A regular courier would suffice, but you... Well, this is fortuitous. You're a person of many parts, aren't you? I heard you cheated death. Left quite a mark around here. Nothing like being dug out of a shallow grave to give you perspective, eh? You could say that, yes. Um, how exactly do you know about that, actually? Yeah. All this time... Everything you've done, your choices, the people you've killed, you can't control that story. You may not realize it, but you're becoming the stuff of legend. Whether you like it or not, if not for my infirm condition, I'd be apt to hear your take on things. You have made your choices, seen the consequences. 
I did much the same long ago in another life. I am still paying for those choices. Couriers have a special role, one of trust. I hope you will maintain that fidelity, as this delivery... It's... I can't put this off any longer. I want you to deliver a package to a man in Westside. His name is Bradley. In exchange, I will pay you five hundred caps, all up front. Consider it a gesture of goodwill and trust. Is the proposal satisfactory? It is. Um... As I expected, you are perfect for the job. Deliver this letter and key to Bradley, a mercenary under the employ of the West Side Militia. Once the letter is delivered, you are free of any responsibility to me. However, if you elect to assist Bradley, I will be in your debt. I hope this will be an end to things. A just settlement. Good luck, courier. I would like to be alone now. Okay, uh, I will agree to leave you alone. I am quite curious what this is. I'm a little afraid that we're going to get ambushed now that we have this, if people know about me. Um, and at the same time, I was somewhat worried that it is a bomb. But I shouldn't worry about those things. Because he says, if I help Bradley. So where is this guy at? Far away. Now let me think. Let me think. <laughs> let me see what kind of things I need to do here. Alright, let's turn in our bounty here that we just did. Um, hey there. Hi. Is Tony dead yet? Yes, he is. Outstanding work. Take a break, kid. You've earned it. What about more jobs? I've got another bounty lined up if you're ready. I am ready. I want more jobs. Alright, your target is Tommy, a hot-headed wise guy associated with the Omertas. Tommy was always quick to throw down, but the other night, he got worked up after some guy cracked a joke about his shoes. Can you imagine? Anyway, Tommy whipped out his pistol and capped this fella, right there outside the casino. As it turns out, this guy was sort of connected, so to speak. In short, Tommy fucked up. Now he's got to pay. My contact says that Tommy is probably hiding out at the old Tumbleweed Ranch. They say he's jumpy as shit and prone to shoot anything that comes through the door, so be careful. Good luck, kid. Hmm, okay. Sounds like we have to step into an ambush. If it isn't a ranch, I was thinking it's an open outdoor area, which means we can snipe him. Um, but that might not be the case. Now let's just take a look as to where he is. Yeah, all the way up there. Okay. So where should we go? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go do that bounty now that we're out here. I see Kazragors, though, and I don't like Kazragors. Alright, you jumpy little fly. Ugh, I don't like this. Thing. Yeah, that was gonna be a miss. Now it's coming, isn't it? Nope. I mean, if they fly straight, yeah, it is. I don't have time to switch, I'm just gonna shoot it. There you go. Oh, those things scare me so much. They're just dangerous. Okay. Well, let's head off over here. Oh, I see there's a pip on the map. Yep, someone's shooting something here. Let's run to it. 
Although you probably want to run away from gunfire, don't you? That's probably the, uh, the desired kind of reflex. Or maybe that's the guy. Alright. Let's just take a look around. That? I think that looks like a legionnaire. And that's some random... Ca oh, it was an NCR person. Of course. Okay, good. Then we're fine. Yes, it was a legionnaire dude. Although I feel like we fought this guy before because he doesn't have a lot of things on him. Alright, let's follow this NCR lady. Or, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a lady. Haha. So what is this place? Another safe house of sorts? Tumbleweed Ranch. Oh, so he must be in the door there then. You know what that means. Shotgun turn. Alright, I'm just gonna take a look around. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. Oh. Who's this guy? Some random wastelander. Okay. Well, here we go, right? Time to face the truth. Or the guns in this case. Well, that's him. Um, maybe I should switch to another weapon, but let's just do it. And that's how it's done. Maybe a shotgun wasn't the best um, idea because he was far further away than I expected him to be. Oh, but it's all good. Sunset Sarsaparilla. 110 bottle caps. Well, that's a good thing I searched that. <laughs> um, anything else interesting? Definitely scrap metals. Good. Yeah, it's kind of silly that um, you lose karma for stealing, even though no one, we're not stealing anything here. Because the guy's dead, so he won't really be needing it anymore. Oh, there is a note. No, we can't read that. Hi, hey, Tommy. I'm sorry this had to happen. I should probably read all that stuff, shouldn't I? Frag grenades, Tommy's finger. Anything else of interest in here? Fridge with some food, maybe? Yes, definitely. A Brahmin steak is all good. First aid box, doctor's bag, stim packs, bobby pin. Everything is good. We'll take the whole thing. Thank you. I'm always terrified of these, um, whatever these things are called, the propane tanks, because uh, there's way too many kind of traps set up with them, and they're very deadly. That's beer. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs now. See if there's anything there. Tumbleweed. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it Tumbleweed Ranch. Anything in this toolbox? Eh, no, not really. I mean, there's that duct tape. I don't think that's easy to find, is it? Once again, I search empty th things because I realize they're empty after I clicked on them. Oh, another, another cattle prod. We have one of those things. But they're worth a fair amount. Okay, guys, here. I need to give you some stuff. Alright, so now let's get out of here. Uh, so, you're nothing more than a gun for hire. Hi. It's a shame that Wolpes was felled by such lowly scum. Uh, who exactly are you? I'm first Spear Centurion Lucius Polo, friend to the late Wolpes Inculta. You slew my friend without cause, and I am here for justice. Word gets around quickly. There's actually um, quite a lot of. <laughs> Yeah, then there's cause for concern. Um, I don't know what that means, but we'll attack him. Mortis tua, vita mea. Maybe I should have just went straight into vats, because I don't want to hurt Boom here, but... Wow, this guy is a tough guy. Like that. Phew. He was tough. Alright. 
The spoils. That's pretty good. How much melee does it need, though? 25. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Yeah, no, our golf driver is way better. Okay, uh, so now that we are in the area, what I'm going to do is... We're gonna go deliver that uh, that thing to Bradley. So it's a little bit farther away, but we're gonna go for a little walk. We get to enjoy the scenery. What time is it actually? It is almost 2 p.m. here, so we still have a few hours of daylight. About four hours, I guess, four or five. Gets dark at around six, I think. I'm not quite sure. It's all good. Have the oof! That water tower keeps popping in and out, and I think the sky just changed again on us. <laughs> it's all good. Having a bit of a walk. <sighs> I'm also feeling the heat too. It's pretty hot in here. Even though it's winter and uh, it was snowing a couple days ago, now it's back up to 11 degrees Celsius. It was in the neck. Okay. What have we got? A bunch of fiends, I guess. Farmers. No, 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 no. I want that. There we go. Uh, shoot his arm, and then I guess shoot his leg too. This is why I have companions, because they do all the work for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty bad at this. I wonder glue and work outfit. Mm. What did this person have? 10 millimeter rounds, caps, part and sledgehammer. Ooh. What are these guys again? Vipers? Interesting. I guess it's the Viper gang, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that was interesting. Oh, shit! Eddie. Yeah, Eddie's a tank. Never mind. <laughs> that could have ended really badly, really quick. Rushing water? No, 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 no. We need actual water. That's a lot of sunsets, Asprilla. Produce stack. Rat meat. Oh. oh, no, we want purified water, not dirty water. What am I doing? It's a lot of. S oh, and we've got some caps here, I guess. Oh, no! I made the bottle caps go everywhere. No, they're all empty. Okay, let's just grab this crate, move it out of the way. It's all good. Ooh, more healing powder, those are good. Radiated water. Hmm. Right away, steady. So there's dirty water and irradiated water. I wonder if those are different. The irradiated sounds even worse. Let's take more Sunset Sarsaparil bottles, cause uh, we get thirsty, and we need to quench our thirst. And I'm guessing we're getting pretty thirsty here. Because um, we have been fast traveling a lot. <gasps> 25 millimeter grenade. Is that for my grenade launcher? No, it's not. Hmm. What's it for, then? That's interesting. 25 millimeter grenades. I don't actually know. Because I think mine uses 20 millimeter grenades. So is there an even bigger grenade launcher? That sounds fun. So what's this thing? Probably a mill of some sorts, it looks like. It looks small, though. It's kind of weird. Huh. Alright. Well, let's just keep heading through these cornfields. Uh, we were looking for that guy. Oh, hold on. Seems like there's a fair few enemies here. Where's my spotter perk? I need to figure out what's going on here. Yeah, ED sensors I think go even further than uh, than what I can see. So. Oh, what the fudge? Can't run from me. 
Oh, <laughs> I actually landed the shot. <laughs> That's good. That's scary. These guys have energy weapons, which is a bit scary to me. Oh, it's just a Waltz laser pistol. Um, yeah. Homemade. Oh. Okay. But it's broken, so I'm not gonna take it. Weird. That was interesting. <laughs> What's in their house then? That's a big hole in the wall. Fresh air, right? Another psycho. More dirty water. Uh, that's really bad looking wallpaper. Patriot's cookbook. It's probably an explosive. Explosive um, manual, I think. Magazine. Which I only use if I ever need to like boost my skill up to a certain point. So where are we going? Down south even more. Because he said west side, which is different than free side. So is there another thing that's connected to free side? Oh no, west side. West side open. Yeah, that's... No, we were in free side. So west side something different, isn't it? For rent. Yeah, I don't think we can head in there anytime soon. Let's see. Uh, I'm just checking the map here. That's pretty close by, it looks like. But I have a... I'm guessing I have to get inside somehow. Uh, are those baddies? They haven't attacked me yet, so I don't think so. No, they're not. They're just mercs. Hey, guys. How's it going? West side militia. Ooh. Didn't we need to be here at one point? Go to west side for some reason? I can't remember why. Hmm. Oh well, let's head inside. There was some guy that I needed to talk to. Not for the inheritance, for something else. Oh, maybe for the um, yes man quest. Figuring out who the west side people are. Interesting. So it's like a shittier free side. Ooh, a pawn shop. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Hey, Judah. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to West Side? I'm actually looking for someone to talk to. Never mind. Uh. Mm hmm. Cool. I didn't even know this was here. Hi, Marco. Welcome to Casa Madrid, cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. I think I'm good, thank you very much. I will just go over here and go to the pawn shop. <laughs> okay, I lightened up our inventory a little bit, so let's see if we can find this guy. Watch out for fiends. Watch out for fiends? Is there fiends in Westside? Smithies. I thought that's an actual restaurant, isn't it? Huh. Cool. I'm just gonna walk around, and take a look at what at West Side here while we're while we're here, because it kind of intrigues me. It's kind of a cool place to me. It's very very dirty and yeah. So that's the electricity engineers. Make it signs for everyone. Probably a bunch of drifters here. I'm glad it means some yeah. of bitches on our side. Da -da -da. A liquor store, it looks like. Yes, we don't really need that because we don't drink. And I should not drink anymore. I used to never drink at all, and then I had a first few, few drinks, um, and then a few more. Don't ask because I don't know. I don't know, I've only drank three or four times. I don't think I'm going to do it again. That was a bad idea. Oh, they've got a little garden. Maybe they can win this war after all. That's nice. They Having your own food is very important. Running yeah. Around with different faces or something. But yeah, I should don't not ask, drink again. I, don't know. Um, I get flirty, and some people are not appreciative of that, especially ones you're in a relationship with. <laughs> um, but it going happens. Going to eat the next fucking rat I see. <laughs> you're gonna eat the next rat you see. Hey, Hector. Oh, you're Can't Hector. Go else. Oh, hello. Hi. What do you do here? I deliver things and stuff for the people here. They give me caps to do it. Alright. No, you're not. Who is it that we need to deliver to? 
Sorry, I don't want to be infuriating to all of you, but, uh, what? Bradley. Apparently we have to go back here and leave west side. I thought he was in west side. I'm glad you <gasps> son of a There's bitch a giant. on our side. They say those robots in the strip. Hey. Are... Uh, hi. Uh, who are who are you? Marshal Fabish. Okay. Um. Nice to meet you. My pleasure is a man. Goodbye. Well, what are you doing here? Hi again. What do you do in this place? <laughs> I wash my bone. With Sibi. I have Bogo. Feebs are rope. Goodbye. Different faces or something. Um, I didn't quite Don't understand ask. that, but uh, from my guess, he's kind of guarding West Side. He says there's like fiends around, so he does his job, takes, keeps the place safe. Um, I guess that's how it works. It's a good, good thing to do. Keep the citizens safe, so they can grow their own food and enjoy it. Wes, the um, bosses of the Americas. So there is Mernus, another. The ones that run Gamora. Someone killed them. Thorn. Oh, okay, the Thorn. I don't quite know what that is. Probably some sort of underground um, club of sorts. Probably don't want to know. This place is pretty big too. Okay, I was gonna head off into one direction and. But that was not the right direction to go. So let's not go on an adventure. Let's find our dude here that we need to deliver to. Is that him up there? Maybe. Hey, Bradley. It is Bradley. Ah, oh, cool. Hey, Bradley. Look, I'm on duty. If you've got something to say, make it quick. I do have something to say. I have a delivery for you. What? Are you sure it's for me? Apparently. All right, give me a second. Hold on. Thought I heard something. Fuck! Fiends from the west. This is kind of hard. I'm a little shaky. Oh god. I can't see her in the bush. There we go. Whew. That was a little rough. After all of them trying to kill me like that. Uh, I need to pop some healing powder here. There we go. There's more of them? Looks like it. And they've got... Why do they have laser weapons? They're fiends. Nicely done. Wow. I'm surprised I'm actually making these shots. Come on, how am I not hitting this guy? I shot like three times. Oh, fuck. Is there more? There's a fuckload inbound from the west. Use cover and make your shots count. <coughs> Can't run from me. Astro got him. Oh jeez. Okay. That's way too much craziness going on here. Um, ugh. I just want to take the left arm out and then the face. No, that killed them. Alright. Vats is saving my butt right now, but I also need to run the hell away. Because... Oh, come on. I just want the arm. There we go. Oh, I need to heal. I need to heal. I need my healing pots here. <laughs> healing pots. Funny. Healing powder. There we go. Alright, buddy. You're all open, so I'm just gonna shoot you in the face. Oh. 
God damn. I haven't seen that many raiders since I guarded a caravan passing through 80s territory. Yeah, that was a lot of dudes. You're a courier, right? Yes. After that little fracas, color me impressed. You moved like a merc. Glad you were here. Since we got a little breathing room, I'd like to check out that package. A sealed letter. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Well, we're going to see in just a moment. But first, let's uh, loot all of our dudes here. All right, there we go. I looted all the ones I could because some of their bodies disappeared because what I had to do was skip ahead an hour because they weren't spawning for some reason. And when I did, they were all there. Okay, Bradley, tell me what this letter is. Except 
doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Wonderful. God damn. Dear Bradley, my name is Joe Sellers. I'm almost certain you've never heard of me. No shit. When I wrote this letter, I was unsure if I'd summon the nerve to send it. Okay. I made choices long ago that impacted you more than you may know. I often question my decisions, how things turned out. I'll well, get to the point. I am your father. I separated with your mother not long after you were born. The reasons for my decision are complicated. Not for lack of feeling or to shirk responsibility. Bull fuck. Shit. On the con contrary, I became an exile to ensure your safety. Not long after I met your mother, there was a war, and I was on the losing side. Your association with me could be mistaken for complicity. As a result, I cut all ties with your mother. She went to Reno, and I wandered. I've no doubt you harbor resentment for my actions. Fuck you. If you hate me or only wish to ignore me, I only beg you to accept my parting gift. Consider it my feeble attempt to reckon for your abandonment. I know you have subsisted as a soldier of fortune for some time. I never wanted that life for you. Better in your life, cocksucker. There is a vault in the Mojave that contains enough wealth to let you start anew. You could leave the hazards of the frontier behind you. There's nothing I can offer to make up for the pain I inflicted on you and your mother, but I still owe you this birthright. It is all that I have left. Make no mistake, this is not a simple salvage. You must walk a dangerous path to collect the means to access the vault. However, I believe your profession has given you the skills and necessary fortitude to see this through. Enclosed with this letter is a key, the first of three required to open the vault. The next key is in the Linus Caverns in the Mesquite Mountains. It's been so long since these measures were put in place, I have no <coughs> idea what you'll find there aside from the next key. I understand if you wish to dispose of this note and erase any notion of connection to me, you would be more than justified. Consider this my last will and testament. Your father, Joe Sellers. No bullshit. Is this some kind of con? Come clean or I'll butt stroke your fucking skull. Did butt stroke my skull? I don't know how that works. I don't want to find out. I'm just delivering the goods. I had no idea what was inside. Excuse my skepticism, but what the fuck am I supposed to make of this? Some old coot writes me, says I inherited his stash. Even if it's a con, it's shit. He expects me to go digging through fuck knows what kind of shitholes to get some keys? Fuck that noise. Well, you could also give the keys to me if you're not interested. No, no, no. I know better than that. I don't have any illusions of some Sierra Madre treasure buried in the desert, but there could be something. If he's what I think he is, ex-enclave, that could be worth my time. Those old bastards still have munitions dumps scattered around. A lot of pre-war tech sells for a mean price out here. Fucking Van Graff gouged the shit out of everyone. It'd be fun to undercut them. I'm not opposed to investigating this, and I'd be willing to split some of the goods if you help out. Seems you know how to handle yourself. Only thing is that I'm under contract to West Side, and as you just saw, there's something of a fiend problem. I don't know where they get the manpower, but fiends keep coming out of the woodwork to attack West Side. Even though badass bounty hunters killed some of their ringleaders, it seems someone else is stepping in to stir them into a frenzy. Rumor has it some strung out witch doctor has the fiends on a drug fueled holy ward against Westside. Really, I, I couldn't make this up. It seems he's holed up in the old Hoffman mine just west of here. If you can take him out, the fiend attacks should taper off. If the fiends are neutralized, I should be clear of my duties here at least long enough to track down the vault. I have to stand watch, but I'll throw in some caps if you take care of this for me. Afterward, we can strike off together. Deal? I like it. Let's do it. Good. Here's a few things I was holding on to. They should help you clear those fuckers out. 
Just check back with me when it's done. Will do. But that stuff will have to wait for the next episode because there's been a lot of problems. And as you saw, I was trying to get this guy out of the ground because he keeps flopping around. Stop. Make a noise, buddy. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, well, they're no friends of mine. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Okay. I'll see you all in the next episode. We'll clear out the cave, which is all the way over there, which, yep, should be pretty easy to do. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye-bye.